Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. I am a certified personal trainer, a big huge biology geek, and a registered dietitian to be. Today we're doing another deep dive video and this one is on the nutrition slash wellness program of Beachbody called the three day refresh. What is it? Is it necessary? Is it worth it to spend three days drinking cat litter flavored shakes to only lose a few pounds that you'll inevitably gain back? Stay tuned. We've got a lot of good stuff ahead, so grab your detox water and settle in. Before we continue, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lulls along the way, please do some dirty things with that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get started. So the Beachbody 3-Day Refresh is a cleanse that claims to help you, quote, feel cleaner, lighter, and healthier without giving up food. Right away, the word refresh immediately triggers me. Marketing buzzwords like detox, refresh, cleanse are all red flags. Typically programs that use these words in the title are short, help you lose weight, or claim to help you lose weight fast, and do something to your metabolism, usually restart it or kickstart it, with some variation of those words. Because you know, just because you ate that cheeseburger last night, your metabolism just completely forgets how to work and the whole system just falls apart. So I found a Beachbody coach who actually com completed the three day refresh and I followed her along all three days of her refresh. And um, we're gonna watch those videos later. Um, but right now we're gonna look at something she posted to her IG stories. Um, it was the day before she started it in which she answers what is it and how it works. So let's take a look at those right now. Three day refresh, what is it? A scientifically designed program that helps you fast track your weight loss, kickstart healthy eating and get a clean break from bad nutrition habits. Three day refresh is a simple straightforward program that will help you cleanse your body and improve the way you feel without starving yourself. Unlike juice cleanses or liquid fasts, which tend to be high in sugar and low in protein, leaving you feeling weak, hungry and sluggish, this is easy to follow program helps support your metabolism while nourishing your vital organs. Sounds great. Let's see how it works. How does it work? For three days, you'll have a super poop, <laughs> for a super food packed Shakeology shake for breakfast along with a fruit option, a fiber sweet digestive health drink later in the morning, a satisfying high protein vanilla fresh shake for lunch accompanied by fresh fruit, vegetables, and healthy fat options throughout the afternoon. For dinner, you'll have another vanilla fresh shake along with your choice from a list of delicious, easy to prepare dinner recipes. We're gonna look at some of those later. Spoiler, they're not very satisfying. You can also have tea twice a day and as much filtered water as you like. As much filtered water as I want? Is it Christmas morning? So this person has mentioned in her other stories that she does the three day refresh once a month. So often that she has a highlight for it on her Instagram page. Her colon must be spotless. So really quick, I looked through her highlights of the three day refresh and I found a video from about a year ago in which she just completed the, re -day, the three day refresh and she just um, tells us a little bit about her results. So before we get like really into it, let's see what she had to say about one of her previous rounds completing this. Morning. So I'm officially done the refresh. I am down four and a half pounds. Um, so that's exciting because I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but I did a post a long time ago um about what an actual pound of fat looks like and it's big and a lot so to actually rid my body of four and a half pounds makes me pretty happy in three days um again what i love about it the most is that my body actually keeps that weight off it's not like tomorrow i'll be back up four and a half pounds or in a week so Yay! Tonight we're going out for my sister's birthday. It's her champagne birthday, so I'm eating all the pizza and all the pasta and all the wine. 90-10, guys. Okay, I don't know how she has any way of knowing that that four and a half pounds that she lost is purely fat. Unless she did some really invasive body composition testing, like the Bod Pod, which is time-consuming and expensive, and to me wouldn't seem worth it to do for a three-day crash diet. Um, I'm sure if she did the Bod Pod, she would have mentioned it. So um, I guess we can assume that she probably didn't. So I don't understand how she just knows that she definitely lost four and a half pounds of pure body fat. Because truth be told, it probably wasn't four and a half pounds of fat. Some of it probably was fat, but it was probably mostly water and also some poop too. It's not surprising at all that she wants to binge either because she spent she just spent the last three days depriving herself. So now she's gonna go and enjoy pizza, wine, and pasta, which sounds amazing. 
um, after depriving herself for three days, that four and a half pounds probably found itself right back on her. All right, guys, so let's get into what this three-day refresh really is based on what uh, Beachbody says. I found the three-day refresh program guide PDF, so we are going to take a look at that right now and break some stuff down. Okay, so we have the three-day refresh program guide. So on page three, it looks like they have um, like a brief summary of what it is and uh, what you'll be eating and drinking. So let's take a quick look at that stuff. This guide is designed to make doing a three-day refresh simple. You want a fast, clean break to drop a few pounds in a hurry or break some bad habits. And we don't want learning about the program to take longer than doing it. So here's what it is. A three-day refresh consists of three daily shakes, a fiber drink, plenty of filtered water, plus a wide array of fresh fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats throughout the day to keep your energy and metabolism going. Though the, main, though the meal plan is simple, it offers many alternatives, including some creative ways to prepare your meals. So you'll see that you can actually enjoy eating healthy food without having to season it, without having, what? Without having to season it in ways that can damage your health and undermine your weight loss goals. What? Is salt and pepper really that bad? Goodness. What you'll eat and drink during your three day refresh. One, wake up. Drink eight to 12 ounces of filtered water. Two, within an hour, breakfast, within an hour of waking, Shakeology, shake plus fruit option. Three, mid-morning, fiber sweet, digestive health drink. Four, lunch, vanilla fresh, high protein, hunger satisfying shake plus options from the fruit, vegetable, and healthy fats list. Five, afternoon snack from the fruit, vegetable, or juice options list. Six, dinner. Vanilla fresh plus a delicious meal made from our dinner recipes list. Just like I said in the beginning, it kind of um, mentioned metabolism about like keeping it going as in right here where it says uh, keep your energy metabolism going. Now if any of you out there haven't watched any of my previous videos in which I define metabolism, here it is. In biology the definition of metabolism is the sum of all chemical processes. Processes. I realize I say both. Anyway. The sum of all chemical processes that take place in the cells of living things. Based on the weight loss industry, a lot of people um, associate metabolism with how fast you lose weight. When really that's not all metabolism is. Metabolism is the sum of everything that your body is doing right now in this moment to keep you alive. Based on this uh, brief description of the food that we'll be eating, it looks like we're basically drinking Shakeology and some real food. And I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Shakeology is nasty. I've had it before, it tastes like cat litter. Fight me. All right, so let's scoot on down to page four here. So it looks like page four is the product lineup, so let's take a look at these. Looks like we're doing Vanilla Fresh, the Vanilla Fresh Shake. This patent pending high protein vanilla shake not only helps satisfy your hunger throughout the three day refresh, it delivers the essential nutrition your body needs for healthy weight loss. Plus, Vanilla Fresh is an excellent source of fiber and it's both dairy and soy free. Each serving contains 20 grams of plant protein, 22 essential vitamins and minerals, probiotics, help promote digestive and immune health. Clinically tested potato protein extract to help curb hunger. No artificial flavors, colors, preservatives or sweeteners. And then we have the fiber sweet drink. With its scientifically formulated blend of soluble and insoluble fibers, this patent pending fiber drink gently and naturally eliminates waste from your digestive system while supporting healthy intestinal flora. Created from whole grain ground flax, chia, and psyllium seed husk, fiber sweep is an excellent source of fiber for digestive health. Wholesome psyllium fiber can help naturally lower cholesterol and support healthy blood sugar levels as part of a healthy diet. Uh, as part of a healthy diet, low in saturated fat and cholesterol, psyllium fiber husk may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Flax and chia are sources of healthy omega-3 fatty acids. And then right down here we have our lovely disclaimer that they have to put. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Okay, so under the Vanilla Fresh Shake, it says clinically tested potato protein extract to help curb hunger. Potato protein is clinically tested. Tested for what? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a potato. So under the fiber sweep, it says uh, it gently and naturally eliminates waste from your digestive system. That's a pleasant way of saying you will be shitting your brains out and quite literally be flushing money down the toilet. 
Okay, so as we proceed here, just a few more bits about the program, about coffee and tea, when to begin the three-day refresh. Let's read that really quick. Many people start their three-day refresh on a Friday morning so they can stay focused and disciplined through Saturday and Sunday, while others prefer to do it during the week to avoid the temptation of weekend activities. Bottom line, it's your call. Just do it and you can commit to the program and not get sidetracked. You guys know I'm not somebody who who diets and I hate dieting as in when when it refers to crash dieting or fad dieting but if I was somebody who crash dieter or fad dieter it seems very uh high stakes to resurrect a diet on a Friday just saying uh, blah, blah, blah. so how often a refresh kickstart for some the three-day refresh is a way to kickstart a healthier lifestyle make a clean break from eating habits not supporting your health and weight loss goals Monthly tune-up. For others, it serves as a regular monthly tune-up that can use to knock off up to three pounds or so each month. Ultimate year of health. Still others use a three-day refresh with a comprehensive approach. We call the ultimate year of health. Do the 21-day Beachbody Ultimate Reset once annually for a deep cleansing. Then tune up with the refresh three times quarterly or as needed throughout the year. <laughs> what? What to expect when you're refreshing, consistent feedback from our test groups that people hadn't felt famished while doing the program. This isn't a starvation diet or an all liquid fast. And while it's low in calories, about 900 a day, it's packed with protein and fiber. So you will be nourishing your body properly and you won't feel starved. You won't feel starved on only 900 calories a day. Oh my God, are you kidding me? It's not a starvation diet. And then in the next breath, they say, you'll be eating 900 calories a day. How is 900 calories a day not starving? Okay, fine. I guess technically it's not like total starvation, but 900 calories a day is not a lot of food. To give you guys some reference, my breakfast alone is around three to 500 calories. Let's move on here. What do they say about exercise? Finally, we recommend mild to moderate exercise during the three-day refresh. Can you hammer out a harder program? Probably, but the three-day refresh will use your energy more effectively to help clean up your system if you're not at the same time also taking it with the effort of repairing muscle after intense exercise. I've seen um, some beach body coaches kind of recommend uh, while they're doing the refresh and that you actually don't exercise because you're eating so few calories. Your total energy intake for that day is going to be less than 900 when you consider the amount of calories you have expended doing exercise. Here they have some bits about protein, getting started the daily meal plan. There's no meat or dairy during the three-day refresh, but don't worry about getting enough protein. Both Shakeology and your vanilla Fresh shakes are packed with all the necessary amino acids that would normally come from consuming meat and dairy proteins. Uh, many veg veggies contain blah blah blah. Okay, getting prepared to make shopping and planning for your refresh as simple as possible. We recommend that before beginning you choose a fruit, vegetable, and healthy fat and guilt-free flavoring options you'll be enjoying on the program. You'll find those listed on page 18 and 20 and fill in the blanks blah blah blah. Okay, your da the daily meal plan. The meal plan options are straightforward and often many of them have been borrowed from the Beach Buddy Ultimate Reset. Somebody DM'd me about that one. That one might be next for a deep dive. So by the time you finish your three day refresh, you'll have a good idea of what it will be like to try the 21 day Ultimate Reset program next. Here they're kind of prompting you to try the 21 day Ultimate Reset after you're done with this, like just one crash diet to another, geez. All right, so over the next few pages, it's basically just a uh, just a shakedown of what our meals might look like over these three days of starvation and explosive diarrhea. So on page 18, we have uh, fruit options listed. All fruit should be fresh, stay away from canned, dried, or sweetened. Um, just a long list of fruits. Okay, and it looks like they have some quantities here listed. Guilt-free flavorings. These guilt, f these flavoring options will help make the three-day refresh interesting and delicious. While you also learn how you can season foods without adding too many calories or carbs. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, sweet paprika, chili powder. They don't have salt and pepper listed on here. <laughs> oh, there's Himalayan salt. I just want to talk about them using guilt-free right here. I really hate hearing that like in reference to like things that you're eating. 
You should really never feel guilty for eating food. Feeling guilty for eating a certain food can kind of give rise to negative feelings surrounding that food and can lead to disordered eating and potentially an eating disorder. And if you're somebody who has a history of eating disorders or disordered eating, um, you know, this, it's, 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 it could trigger, um, it could trigger some of those unhealthy habits that you have previously had. I just hate the narrative that the diet industry has perpetuated that there are good foods and there are bad foods. Like, no, I hate that. You can lose weight and improve your, your diet and your health by not causing, without causing yourself the stress of only eating good foods. All right, let's proceed. Vegetable options here. Oh, vegetables, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, stay away from canned, dried, or sweetened. Where the hell are you getting sweetened vegetables from? All right, juice options. Healthy fats and juice options. Hummus avocado. All right. Juice options. Oh, that colange looks good. Kale, orange, and ginger. Hmm, that seems yummy. All right, so let's move on to these dinner recipes. Coconut steamed veggies, roasted asparagus with almonds, spinach salad. These sound like side dishes. Roasted almonds, roasted asparagus with almonds sounds disgusting. I don't like asparagus and I'm allergic to almonds, so that just sounds gross. And veggie stir fry, lemony green beans, carrot seaweed medley, kale with pine nuts. My goodness, if I only fed my husband lemony green beans for dinner, I'd get a stern talking to. Okay, there's more cucumber and tomato salad, Moroccan carrot salad. That's about it. Most of these look good, but I just can't imagine only eating these as a meal. Okay, so here we are at the last page, maintaining your results post refresh. Hopefully by now you've experienced just how good it feels to get your eating back on track and you've even learned some new tips and tricks along the way. Here are three simple things you can do post refresh to keep from falling off the wagon. Number one, stay hydrated with plenty of fresh filtered water. Two, move your body every day, even if it's a walk around the block or a couple of stretches. Three, make Shakeology your daily dose of dense nutrition. As hard as we all try, it's impossible to eat 100% clean 100% of the time. Life has a habit of getting in the way of the perfect diet, so it's important to do the best you can, but give yourself some grace when you waver. When you're ready, do another round of this three-day refresh because you followed the baseline rules above. It shouldn't be too tough to get back to business. And if you really want to dial things up a notch, consider doing the ultimate reset for a 21 day nutrition and supplement program that allows your body to rebalance itself for optimal health, releasing toxic compounds and creating new healthier eating habits for life. You'll be refreshed in no time, they say. So steps one and two, hopefully you've been doing since birth. Those are pretty basic fundamentals of like human existence and health. For step three, they encourage you to quote, drink your daily dose of dense nutrition, which is Shakeology. Um, you know what else has your daily dose of dense nutrition? Food. Or some people eat a pretty good diet, but maybe they can't get everything they need. So they also take a multivitamin. Hello. Hello, Zeus. Yes, mommy's busy. No, don't come up here. Okay. I know. I know. Okay, but I'm busy right now. I'm busy, okay? Okay. Both food and a multivitamin are cheaper than a month's supply of Shakeology. Right, Zeus? And I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Shakeology tastes like weak old cat litter with cat sh** still in it. Fight me. Fight me. I said what I said. So now that we know a little bit more details about the program, let's talk about how much this thing is gonna run us. According to the Beachbody website, this three-day cleanse comes in a complete kit, which costs $69.95. $70, AKA about almost three tanks of gas for me, I drive a Jetta, or a week of groceries for two people, maybe even like 10 days of groceries, or maybe that's like half your cell phone bill. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? It costs too much. For $70, you could buy actual food and eat for much longer than three days. So most of you guys watching this probably already know what Shakeology is, but in case you don't, um, really quick, Shakeology is pretty much just um, what Beach Body what Beach Potty is known for. They love to call it a superfood shake, um, and they also love to say that it's your daily dose of dense nutrition. 
Um, and I also quite personally, I've said this already I think a few times, but I'm just gonna keep on saying it, Shakeology tastes like cat litter. So let's talk about this Fiber Sweep, which is the other supplement you're gonna be taking um, while you're doing this three day refresh. I scoured the Beachbody website. I couldn't find a purchase option that was just the Fiber Sweep and nothing else. Like it was like the Fiber Sweep is, you can only purchase it as a kit with their three day refresh. Because it seems to only come in a kit, I couldn't find anywhere for how much it costs. So on the page where they were selling the three day refresh complete kit, there is a description about of the Fiber Sweep and it reads this. Fiber Sweep drink helps eliminate waste gently and naturally from your digestive system with its patent pending blend of whole ground flax and psyllium seed husks. As I said before, them using the words gently eliminates waste is a pleasant way of saying that you are going to have an explosive bathroom experience. So, we know the gist of the program, but I want to know what some Beachbody coaches have to say about this thing. Because even though it's not required that they have any background education or training in nutrition, exercise science, exercise physiology, human physiology, biology, food science, or dietetics, they must know what they are talking about. Just some background really quick. Um, I just happened to stumble upon this person completely randomly while I was actually trolling on Instagram for some content ideas. Obviously we have no way of confirming her income, but based on her Instagram page, she does appear to be one of the top higher paid coaches. I remember when I found her, she was talking a lot about her stories about how she recently hit Diamond, which I don't know, I don't know anything about like the rank structure of Beachbody. I guess Diamond's a, a, a big one to hit. She hit Diamond and she was talking about it in her stories a lot. She was sharing a lot about it. Um, so yeah, she's probably been in the game for a while. From what we can see, she doesn't have any background in uh, fitness or nutrition or health sciences. I have sat through so many of this person's stories and quite frankly, I think I deserve some Oreos, but that is neither here nor there. Let's sit back and take a look. Um, but I am starting the three-day refresh today as well. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like because I got a lot of questions after I posted about it yesterday or the day before. So this is what it looks like. That's how it comes. Okay. So there is two books that are included in this, but Austin took them. But here is exactly what your days are going to look like. It's three days. So for breakfast, you're going to have Shakeology. And if you order um, this without a month's worth of Shakeology, it comes with three packages of Shaco. But because I have Shaco, I don't order the package that comes with it. Um, so your morning is Shaco and a fruit. Um, late AM is a fiber sweep. Then your lunch is another shake. So it's the vanilla fresh plus a fruit option, a veggie option, and a healthy fat option. Then you have a snack, a veggie option, and a healthy fat option. Then your dinner is a... Okay, so I found the books. So you also get these. This is the maintenance guide. It comes in French and English. So after you're done, um, it just gives you some more examples of um, recipes and stuff that you can eat. This is the actual program guide, guys. It's honestly a no-brainer. Like, it literally tells you step-by-step. Step, these are all the recipes for dinner. Um, and there is so much food that um, you can eat during these three days. I always get that question. Oh, just at like, is it a juice or, like, a liquid cleanse? And the answer in resounding no. Um, I would die if I couldn't eat food during the day. Um, and like, I'm not down with like a juice cleanse or like a liquid diet. So, um, it's not it's three shakes plus lots of food plus a fiber sweep. Um, and so if you want more information on it, let me know. I have lots of food, 900 calories. Sent it to a few people so far. Um, and yeah, I do it once a month and I usually, I usually lose between four and six pounds when I do it. Um, but that's just like the bonus because once you do this refresh, you literally feel like a new person. Like, um, cognitively I feel clear. Um, I feel like I have tons of more energy, um, just all the things. And then, I mean, I've been eating like S H I T for the last three weeks. So I would like to get rid of all those toxins and all the crap and the alcohol and all that stuff. So, so I want to address uh, she just used the word toxins in reference to flushing her body of them from all the, the junk food and stuff that she's been eating. <sighs> this is a buzzword that you see in the weight loss industry really often in marketing. And people use this word so much, it's starting to just lose its meaning. In biology, the definition of a toxin 
is a poisonous substance that is produced within the cells of living things. An example of a toxin is in pufferfish. In some Asian countries, this is a delicacy and it has to be prepared with extreme care because uh, some parts of the fish flesh contain tetrodotoxin, which is a powerful and deadly neurotoxin. So she's been indulging in some, some yummy foods, you know, so maybe some pizza, maybe some alcohol, maybe some cheeseburgers, stuff like that. These foods are high in calories, high in fat, high in sugar, high in sodium. But last I checked, pizza was not a carbon-based life form that could excrete toxins from its cells. Now, if she ate a puffer fish that was incorrectly or poorly prepared and consumed tetrodotoxin, then, uh, yeah, you've got some toxins in you, my dear. But you know what? At that point, you're probably not on your Instagram stories. You need a medical doctor, and Shakeology is not going to help you. Let's proceed. I also, the question I also get is like, do you keep this weight off? It's not water weight. And I've actually like recorded and I re will record again. Um, my body fat index goes down and actually my water goes up, which makes me believe and proves that it's not water weight because if it was water weight, it would just dehydrate you and then your water would go down and your fat mass would stay the same. Body fat index, body mat, whatever. You know what I'm talking I have no idea what the f she's talking about. I think she means BMI, which is body mass index. I'm pretty sure BFI is not a thing, but just in case it was, I typed it into Google and the only thing that came up was BMI. So body fat index is not a thing. So she says that her BMI goes down and her water weight goes up. If your water goes up, doesn't that prove that it is water? Wait a minute. I don't even know what to say right now. None of what she's saying makes sense from a scientific standpoint. So instead of trying to understand her words, I'm just gonna use this as a teaching moment for you guys. As far as BMI, she is somebody who exercises, so she has a very fit body. If I were her trainer, I would not pay as close attention to her BMI to track her progress as I would if I had an, um, an obese or a morbidly obese client. And usually, unless you're right on the cusp, it takes um, bigger changes in weight than just three or four pounds to um, really impact your BMI. So as far as that water she's talking about, let's talk about some physiology. Your kidneys do a lot for you, and one function, put simply, is they control your level of hydration. Your kidneys do this with the help of antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, which is secreted by the hypothalamus. When your body feels dehydrated, has too much sodium floating around, or your blood pressure drops, this tells your kidneys to hang on to water and conserve it. So therefore you will be excreting less water. In this case, your urine is probably gonna be really dark yellow and really concentrated because there's not gonna be as much water in it. If you've got plenty of water in you and everything is tip top shape, then your hypothalamus holds on to that ADH and your kidneys will release just enough water to maintain your body's osmotic balance. In this case, your urine will probably look a little more pale or maybe even clear depending on how hydrated you are. Let's proceed to day two. So I'm just like feeling it today. Um, I also feel amazing because I had a really great sleep. Um, one thing about the refresh, and I know a lot of my clients have felt the same way. She calls your customers clients. No further comment. Is the sleep that you get. And I'm not sure if it's because it's low cal or if it's because you're literally cutting out like all refined sugars and whatever and your body's just like, it's able to rest. Um, that you just like get these epic sleeps. And I did, even though I was woken up twice last night, I got an epic sleep. Um, I'm down two pounds, but my bloating is already coming down so significantly. Um, I feel a lot sharper even though it might not look at like it <laughs> um i feel a lot sharper i feel a lot clearer um and i've gotten back to everybody who messaged me regarding the refresh so if um you did my poll or if you messaged me i did get back to you check your dm sometimes they're in the request section um and i wanted to talk to you guys about the end okay so now we're gonna watch day two it is carnage time um, today is my last day of the refresh. I'm not going to lie. I am very excited <laughs> for some reason, guys. This has been a hard one for me. Um, I think just because summer and I don't know, um, maybe just because I've been eating like crap for the last few months. Um, maybe not crap for the last few months, but definitely not. My nutrition has not been on point. So I think that this time was much harder because usually my nutrition is really good. Um, so when I do the refresh, it's kind of 
like, oh, that wasn't too bad. This time it's been hard, um, full disclosure, but I love it. I'm down about three pounds this morning. Um, so one more day, but definitely like my bloat, my bloat is completely down. Like usually right here, or not usually, but lately right here, I've been feeling like super bloated, like the lower stomach area. Um, and that's pretty much gone. So I'm happy with that. Um, usually I feel like full of life and like all these things. And today I just feel tired. I'm going to be really honest with you. Um, I do not have a good sleep at all. Austin was up a few times and then he was up super early and then I went to go nap and that didn't happen. So I'm just like, I'm a little bit low energy. So also no unicorn juice. FML. Um, but honestly, I know tomorrow when it's done, I'm going to be so happy I did it. Um, if you're like, what's a refresh? It's a three day reset for your body, um, cuts your cravings to, to like sugar and carbs and all that stuff. And then as a bonus, you lose. Cuts your cravings by not letting you eat that stuff at all. I like to do it once a month. It just like brings me back to like good nutrition. Um, the point of it though, guys, is to not do it and then just go back to your shitty eating habits. It's like to reset your body, right? So, um, that's exactly why I did it. And I'm hoping that tomorrow when I wake up, I'm just, you know, back into eating well. I'm going to be following to be mindset while I do, um, M MBF, which is one of our nutritional programs that come with the program. Um, I pay for both programs separately. I have them both. I love them both, but I'm just for right now, I feel like um, to be just a little bit easier for me to follow at the moment. So if you're interested in the refresh or anything that I just talked about, let me know because I'll be working my ass off all day getting you guys all set up for everything. Okay. So this last video that we're going to watch is her commentary about the refresh. This is the day after she's finished with it. Um, three day refresh is done, results are in. I've done three and a half pounds, 3.4 pounds. Um, but I wish I did before and after pictures because I never ever do them for the three day refresh. But this time in particular, I may not have lost as much weight as I usually do. I mean, three and a half pounds in three days is still pretty cool. Um, but like I said, it's the bloat here that I've been having an issue with. So um, it's completely gone. And I'm okay with that very happy with that um and i feel amazing i feel full of energy um very okay so we just watched this woman starve herself for the last three days and uh, i don't even understand i mean like she she kept saying over and over again throughout the videos and something that she was saying a lot in her highlights about this program is it helps you break bad habits i'm just like and i just keep on thinking if you are somebody who you know if you have been eating not not the best for your body and for your health how is three days of drinking shakes shakes and eating salads going to change that and i just i just don't see that this woman is so pretty she's got nice hair she's got a rocking body and she looks like she just got her nails done and i'm really jealous that she just got her nails done why are you doing these crash diets just to lose three or four pounds or to reset I'm currently working on some of my own personal goals and it's taken me the last month to lose about three pounds. It's more likely that the three pounds that I've lost over the last few weeks is more fat than it is water or lean body mass because I'm not starving myself. I'm just cutting back on my Oreos. In conclusion, this program is a nonsense fad crash diet and you will lose weight on it because you'll be starving. Let's talk about a few key points that I hate about this program. Breaking bad habits. If you were looking to start eating better to improve your health, or if you're looking to start a weight loss journey, and if you are somebody who has a lifetime of poor eating habits and binge eating under your belt, then three days of depriving yourself and just eating shakes and vegetables is not going to change that. This is how the cycle goes. Somebody wants to lose weight, instead of talking to their healthcare provider, a dietitian, or a personal trainer, they do a crash diet that they saw on social media. They lose weight on the crash diet, they go back to their old eating habits, regain back all the weight they lost and then some. They might even binge because they have been depriving themselves so much while on this crash diet. 
After that, they just continued to their old way of eating, which is what got them to their point where they were at before that made them want to lose weight. They feel bad about themselves for failing, decide to completely abandon dieting and just say, it, who cares? And then that cycle repeats itself. If you want to lose weight, you would be better served to speak to your doctor, maybe even get some blood work done to see where you can, your health can improve. Talk to a dietitian, particularly one that specializes in weight loss, so they can give you some legitimate diet and nutrition advice that will help you along your journey and help you use food to support your health. And talk to a personal trainer that can help you develop an exercise regimen that you enjoy and that will be effective for you. What you don't need is a beach body coach, an Herbalife consultant, an Arbonne representative, or some stupid crazy rap that's just gonna make you lose water weight, detox teas, and the like. The second thing I hate about this, support your metabolism. I said this before, but so many of these programs say things like, oh, kickstart your metabolism or restart your metabolism. We've discussed this before. Metabolism is not just how your body burns fat. Because of the diet industry putting out incorrect information on human physiology, people think that because they eat a cheeseburger and have a beer the night before, their metabolism just stops working. That's not how it works. If your metabolism completely stopped working, you would either be dead or go into a state of extreme hibernation. A fancy shake or some juice cleanse is not gonna remind your metabolism how to start working again. It knows what to do and it never stops working until you die, obviously. That's the wonder of human biology. We don't need to teach our bodies how to make our metabolism work. It's doing it right now. My body is doing metabolism right now. I'm not doing anything. It's just doing it. It's crazy. If you spend a few days overindulging on junk food, shake it off, understand that a cheeseburger and a beer or a slice of pizza is not going to kill you, and then just get back to your goals. That's it. Three, this thing is the definition of a crash diet. And how many places did we read or hear, no, the three day refresh isn't a crash diet. It's a crash diet. Merriam-Webster defines a crash diet as a way of losing a lot of weight very quickly by limiting how much one eats. The three day refresh is by definition a crash diet. It has you on an eating plan that only has you eating around 900 calories a day. How is that not a crash diet? And the very last thing I hate about this thing is that it's using plant-based as a fad. You all know that I'm not personally somebody who eats, in a, who eats a vegan diet. I have no personal issues with, there's nothing wrong with eating a vegan diet. It's just not something that I wanna do. People go plant-based for a lot of reasons, whether that be ethics, the environment, or maybe they have a certain health condition that might be improved by eating a vegan diet. Eating a plant-based diet is not a crash diet or a fad, and it really shouldn't be used as such. And also, by the way, just because you're eating plant-based doesn't mean that you're eating healthy. You can eat an unhealthy vegan diet just like you can eat an unhealthy omnivore diet. If you're interested in going plant-based, talk to a registered dietitian and do your research from reputable sources. Or maybe read a book that was written by a health or nutrition professional that has a strong background in plant-based diets. Just do it right to make sure you're well-nourished. And if any vegan friends are watching this, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I don't think that veganism should be used as a fad diet to lose a few pounds. That's my opinion, but what do you guys think? Chime off below. That is all for today, guys. I can't sit and watch any more of this nonsense. If you guys have made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe. We would all really appreciate it. Hey, Zeus. Come here, boy. Oh, God, he stepped on my bladder. Please like and subscribe. If you don't like and subscribe, you will be making him sad. Is that what you want? You want to make puppies sad? <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and sub.